We're gonna go over this worksheet, 7.1 SGI. It's a two-sided worksheet. We're gonna go for the odd ones on this video. Um, and we're, re we're reviewing, it's a green paper that I handed out. So we're reviewing the first three rules, I believe, right here. Uh, when you have the same base and you're multiplying, you add the exponents. So the first y has the exponent of one. So one plus five is six, so it's y to the sixth. That is your answer, let's jump to number three. On number three, we have coefficients, right? Those are the big numbers that are in front of the letter. Okay, even though you see the parentheses here, there's nothing to distribute to the inside. So it's really just a multiplication problem. And you have a negative seven, start with the big numbers. You have a negative seven right here, and you have an invisible one right here in front of the x. So negative seven times one, that's negative seven. And when you do the x to the second times x to the fourth, you add the exponents. Add that, you get x to the sixth. That is your answer. Let's so move on to number five. Number five is too easy. There's an invisible exponent of one right there, and you simply add the one plus five, and you'll get m to the sixth, okay? Of course, there's an explanation for that. m to the fifth is really m times m times m five times, and then there's another m, so that's a total of six. But obviously, you're not gonna show all that work. You just add the one plus five. That way, you could get m to the sixth. Let's go to number seven. Again, we are multiplying. We have coefficients, numbers in front of the letters, so let's multiply those big numbers. The two times eight, that is 16. And then multiply the a squared times the a to the one, which means you're just gonna be adding the exponents and get what? A to the three, three third power, that's right. 16 a to the third is the answer. Number nine, looking at the coefficients, there's a coefficient of four on the second term, or on the second uh, set of parentheses. There's a coefficient of one right here, so when you multiply one times four, that's just four. Now let's move on to the x's. We have an x squared right here, and an x to the one right here. So you add the exponents, and you'll get x to the third power. Then last but not least, we have a y to the one power times y to the third power. So you add the one plus three and you will get four. And that's your answer, four x to the third, y to the fourth. Number 11, once again, let's start with the coefficients, guys. The negative four times negative five, that's a big number in front, a big number in front. Multiply those big numbers, you get 20, right? Negative four times negative five is positive 20. Then go for the x to the third times x to the seventh. What do we get? x to the 21, right? Wrong. What's the answer? X to the what? X to the 10th. You add three plus seven, you get 10. 20 X to the 10th is your answer right there. Let's move on to number 13. Is there a 13? No. We're gonna move on to the other side of this worksheet. I'm sorry, there is a 13, so we're not moving to the other side yet. So let's do 13. A lot of people get confused with 13. Um, you always start, if you have coefficients, if you have numbers out here in front of your variables, go ahead and multiply those big numbers first. Now, a lot of people freak out because they don't know how to multiply a number five times a fraction one-fifth. Let's just write it right next to each other. Five times one-fifth. So what's a little confusing about this is that the five is not a fraction, so put it over one. That way you can multiply the top with the top and the bottom with the bottom. So you will get five on top over five on the bottom. Now, what is five over five? One. It's one. It just cancels out, right? So you don't even need to put a one. You could just scratch it out. If you want, you could put a one in front of your answer. But anyways, those coefficients are done with. Those coefficients, when you multiply the five times a one-fifth, you do get one. Okay, so now let's go for the a's. You have a squared, a squared right here, times another a, but it's to the one power. What are you gonna get? A to the third power, or a to the third, yeah, a to the, a cubed. And now let's go for the b's. We have a b to the one right here and a b to the one right there. When I multiply those, I'm really adding the exponents, I'll get b squared. And finally, last but not least, we have a c to the third times c to the fourth. The answer is c to the twelfth, right? No. No, what is it? C to the seventh. Thank you very much. That is your answer. You could put that one if you wanted to from here, from the five over five, that one out in the front, but you don't have to. Okay, you don't have to. That's your final answer on 13. Let's jump to 15, the final odd, qu odd question on this front side of the worksheet. 
And let's uh, again start with the coefficients. What is 10 times negative 2? Negative 20. Okay, so that's the first part of our answer. Now let's go for the x's. I have an x to the third here times x to the 1 right there. So what's my answer? x to the 4, right? Now let's go for y's. We have a y right here and a y to the fifth. Now remember, this first y is a power of 1. So what do I get right there? y times y to the fifth? Six. y to the sixth. That's right. And finally, the z's. We have z squared and one more z, z to the 1, right? Uh, you, when you're multiplying, out of those exponents, you get z to the third power. And there's your final answer for number 15 on the front side of this worksheet. So it only took us about five minutes to do that front side and the odd ones, and I was explaining it. So you guys should be able to handle this. Um, let's move on to the back side. Again, I'm doing the odd ones on this uh, video. And on this uh, side, we're dealing more with the power to a power or the distributive property one where you have an exponent on the outside. So a power to a power multiply, 2 times 5, what do you get? Ten. So the answer is y to the 10th. Moving on to number 3. So right here, we're going to be distributing this 5 that's on the outside. So a power to a power, you're going to multiply. Um, that becomes x to the 2 times 5 is 10. And this other one, there's nothing to distribute. So we're just gonna we're just gonna rewrite it right next to it. And yeah, you're gonna end up adding. So let me just take this x to the third and bring it down right here times x to the third. And of course, rule one says x to the tenth times x to the third. The answer is x to the thirteenth. That's right. Let's jump to number five. Fun stuff. We're gonna distribute that outside three to each and every term. Now, this is not a three times negative three or negative three times three. That's not it. It really is a negative 3 to the third power, okay? Now, since this was originally, the negative sign was originally in the parentheses with the 3, I want to keep that parenthesis around it and keep that 3 on the outside of it, okay? And I'm also going to distribute the 3 to the a, so I'm going to have an a to the third power, and the 3 is also going to get distributed to the 4, which I'm going to multiply and get b to the 12th power. Now, the only other thing I could do is actually take this base, negative 3, and multiply it with itself three times. So what is negative 3 times negative 3? Negative yeah, and then times negative 3, negative 27 is your final answer there as your coefficient. So you have negative 27 out in the front, a to the third, b to the twelfth. That's your final answer for number 5. What? Numero 7. We're going to distribute that 2 to each term, to the 4 and to the a squared. Now, it's not, when you distribute it to the 4, it's not 4 times 2. That's incorrect. It's 4 times 4. It's 4 times 4. It's really 4 squared. Is 16. This is 16. I'm going to write it 4 squared just to show my work. And a to the second to the second, that becomes a to the fourth because I'm multiplying. And after showing my work, now I'm going to write 4 times 4. That's 16. So we have 16a to the fourth. And I'm going to bring down because there's nothing out here to distribute, right? So I don't have to do anything there. That's just B3, and I'm just going to bring it down. So that B3, uh, B to the third, I'm just going to bring it down. And that's my final answer. I can't really do anything else. Let's jump to number nine. Again, we're going to take that outside exponent and distribute it to each and every term. So I'm going to circle it and draw some arrows. This is like the only work you could really show. Uh, five times two, that's going to be X to the tenth. 5 times 4, that's going to be y to the 20th. And that is all. Let's go to number 11. Yeah, it's like two problems in one. We're going to distribute the 3 on to the negative 4. Now, because this is a negative number, I'm going to write that negative number in parentheses and then put the 3 that I'm distributing, I'm going to put it on the outside. Okay? Then I'm going to take that 3 and put it on the x. Then I'm going to take that 3 and put it on the y. So it's going to be x to the third, y to the third. Now, you have, to, you have to do this first. You can't multiply 4 times 2. That would be incorrect. Because you have to deal with exponents before multiplying. Okay? Anyways, let's distribute on the other one. Over here, I'm going to take this 3 and put it also on the negative 2. So I'm going to put the negative 2 in parentheses. And now I'm going to put that 3 right on top of it on the outside of the parentheses. 
And then I'm going to take the 3 and also multiply it by 2 right there. So you're going to get x to the 6th. So this is our new math problem. And we're going to be multiplying between the two things. Now, this is all pure multiplication. Technically, you have a multiplication between the x and the number, between the x and the y, between the two original ones, and over here. So it's all multiplication, which means we could rearrange things, all right? So let's put the big numbers that don't have variables, let's put them out in the front. And we could do this either with the calculator or uh, on paper. So I'm putting the negative 4 to the third and the negative 2 to the third out in front. Now let's figure out what this is. What is negative 4 times negative 4? That's positive 16. And then times negative 4, negative 64. So we really have negative 64. And then how about negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2? That's negative 8. So we have negative 64 times, let's put times, negative 8. And that, I, I really don't know what that's going to be. Um, what is that going to be? So we end up with positive 512, positive 512, and uh, now let's deal with the, uh, the letters. So let's go back up and let's go x to the third times x to the sixth, add those and you will get x to the ninth. And then go for the y's and there's only one y and that's y to the third, so just bring that down, y to the third. So there's your answer, 512 x to the ninth, y to the third. Let's move on to number 13. A lot of people get confused when it comes to fractions and numbers. First of all, this one, I admit, this one's challenging because we're going to have to distribute the outside exponent to each and every term on the inside. So the 3 is going to go to the 25, and that's going to be too huge of a number. I don't really expect you to, to know that. So 25 to the third, and then 3 times 2 is going to give you a to the sixth. And b times, uh, or 3 times 1 on the b, that's going to be b to the third. So after distributing the 3, that's what you get. Now, on this other one, we're going to have to take that 2 and distribute it to each and every term. Now, the problem is we have a fraction 1 fifth. So let's do this on the side. If I say 1 fifth to the second power, that's really 1 fifth times 1 fifth, which is what? 1 over 25, right? So you really have 1 over 25, and then distribute the 2 to the rest, a to the second, b to the second, f to the second. And you do have multiplication between the terms. I guess, let's do this on a calculator. What's 25 to the third power? Anybody? 25? 4, 5, 6, 2, 5? Okay, so this is what we get with 25 times 25 times 25. We get 15,625. And now I'm going to take this multiplication of a fraction, and I'm going to bring it down and put it times 1 over 25. So if I did know how to multiply fractions, I know how to put my number over 1 and multiply the top with the top and the bottom with the bottom, which means I'll get 15 or 1,525 divided by 25. And on a calculator, tell me what that is. What is 1,500, 1,525 divided by 25? 625. 625. So we get an answer of 6, 2, 5. Now let's go for the A's. We have A to the 6th and A to the 2nd. We will get A to the 8th because 6 plus 2 is 8. And then you have B to the 3rd and B to the 2nd. That will be B to the fifth because three plus two is five. And the F, this F squared, you simply bring it down, F squared. There's your final answer for number 13. 625, A to the eighth, B to the fifth, F to the second. I'll be honest with you, I do not believe this one comes out on the test Thursday. You're welcome. Let's move on to number 15. The last odd one on this worksheet. Okay, so let's take that outside three and distribute it to each and every term. It goes to the two. That doesn't mean two times three. It means two to the third. It goes to the x to the third, which makes it an x to the ninth because you multiply a power to a power. And then put that three times two, you get y to the sixth. And three times two, you get z to the sixth also. And the other one, you're gonna take that four, distribute it there, you're gonna get x to the eighth. Distribute it to the z, and you'll have z to the fourth because there was no exponent besides the invisible one on the z. And now we could combine and do 2 to the third power. 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. That's going to be the coefficient in front of your answer. 
And then you're going to go through and say x to the ninth times x to the eighth. That is x to the 17th. 9 plus 8 is 17. Then you're going to go for the y's. And there's only one y to the sixth. There's no other y's. So you're just going to bring that down y to the sixth. Final thing to do would be the z to the sixth times z to the fourth. And what do we get? z to the 24th, right? Wrong. Z to the 10th. Thank you very much. Z to the 10th. Just checking to see if you guys are awake. So these, this was a review of the first three rules where you have the same base and you're multiplying, you really add exponents. So, no, no, you just told me, yeah, I, I thought that was the last odd one, but you were right. There's one more, 17. Fun time. What do I distribute on this first one, the four? No, there's nothing there. So the only one you're going to be distributing is right here into this parenthesis because these are the only parentheses that have an exponent on the outside. So you're going to take that 4, put it on the negative 3. Put the negative 3 in parentheses first, and then put the 4. And then 4 times 3, that's going to be a 12, so a to the 12th. And then 4, put it on the n because there's no exponent there except the invisible 1. You'll have an n to the 4th. Now, this other parenthesis, there's nothing to distribute, so I'm just going to rewrite it. I'm going to have the negative 3, a to the 3rd, n to the 4th. Okay. Now I'm going to go work on my coefficients. My coefficients, I have a negative 3 to the 4th power. So I really have negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Let me visualize that for you. And let me ask you this to make life a little easier. What's negative 3 times negative 3? Nine. And how about negative 3 times negative 3? Nine. So you really have nine times nine, and what do you get? 81. 81. So from this part, we're getting an 81, and we still need to multiply it by negative 3. So everybody on a calculator, go ahead and do negative 3 times 81, and that'll be the coefficient part of our answer. What is negative 3 times 81? Negative 243, correct? And now let's go for the a's. We have an a to the third times a to the twelfth. We're going to add the 3 plus 12 and get a to the 15. And then we're going to go for the n to the fourth and the n to the fourth. We add the 4 and 4 and get n to the eighth. Ladies and people, men, we are done. Okay, go back and do the even ones.